Deal reached to keep government open through mid-February, but Senate hurdle remained. Top House and Senate lawmakers announced agreements to head off a government shutdown this weekend, but demands by a small group of Republicans may delay quick action with a Friday deadline looming. House Appropriations Chairwoman Rosa DeLauro, a Connecticut Democrat, announced an agreement to fund the federal government at current levels through February 18. The measure also includes $7 billion for Afghanistan refugees. Well, pass it and send it over to the Senate, the California Democrat told reporters. The Hill reports that conservatives including Republican Senator Mike Lee of Utah are demanding a vote on their push to defund Biden's vaccine mandate in exchange for agreeing to speed up a government funding deal. Conservatives say that amendment vote would have to be at a simple majority, meaning they would just need to peel off one Democratic senator to get it into the bill, the Hill explained. Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell, a Kentucky Republican, said Wednesday, I think we're going to be okay, when asked about the prospect of a shutdown.